Good morning. It is Saturday, which is my second favorite day, and I am here at the yard. As you can see, I'm actually waiting for my daughter. She should be here in just a few minutes to swap vehicles. She's going to take the Easy Money truck, and she's going to leave her Kia. She's actually pulling in right now, and uh, I'll explain why we're doing this in just a minute. Morning, Autumn. Morning. You ready to drive the Easy Money truck? Yeah. All right. Probably gonna be embarrassed with your friends? No. Now? No. Okay. Autumn's gonna be the boss for a week. Stop. <laughs> People are gonna start calling you the boss. Good. Because it says it on the door. Autumn said good. Hey, bye. Bye. You There's like no it? Fuel There's no fuel in there? Oh, there is. What's 420 that miles to empty? How far are you driving today? <laughs> is that just, is it beeping because I'm backing up? Yes. Okay. All right, so you're probably wondering why Autumn dropped off her Kia and took my pickup truck and I'll explain that here. So many of you already know my mom. She's been coming out to the job sites once a week and what I do is I pay my mom for her time and I pay for all the food and she makes us a delicious home cooked meal once a week and she brings it out to the job sites. And it's a benefit for the guys, they get to enjoy that meal and it's, an also, it's also a side benefit for me that I get to spend a little bit of time and see my mom once a week. So if you've paid attention to the videos, over the past several months, I've made little comments about my mom's car, about how terrible it is and that she should really buy a new one. And I've asked her, you know, little things like, you know, if you were gonna replace your car, what would you replace it with? Well, this is something that I've been planning for a long time. And my mom is, she's very smart. She is not naive at all. She's very hard to keep secrets from. And I've, pr I've tried to be pretty slick and I think I did a good job. And today just worked out in my favor where things are playing out perfectly because my mom's car broke down and it sounds like it's broke down permanently. She sent me an audio file, I'll play it right now. And that, as you can hear, does not sound good. I think it's toast and I think it's time. We're gonna do something really special for my mom. So it should be a lot of fun. This is gonna be probably one of the most special videos that I've ever made. It's something that I've wanted to do for a long time and something that I've been planning to do for several months now. And it's all coming together. I think it's gonna be awesome. This is gonna be uh, one of the most special things that I've been able to do for somebody in, in my whole life. And I am super excited uh, to see that reaction. So I'm gonna take you guys along for the whole process. It should be a lot of fun. So let's go get grandma. Hey mom. Yes. I got Autumn's Kia, so the problem it's not a problem, but I'm gonna drive it out by you, but then you have to drive me back to the yard so I can drive one of my vehicles. Okay, you know what time that's gonna be? Alright, I'll just throw some clothes on then. I was gonna take a shower, but I'll throw some clothes on. What time will you be here then? About a half an hour. Okay, alright. I'll uh, see you a little bit. Alright, bye bye. Okay, bye bye, thank you. Grandma's here. Is the car in the garage? Oh, of course. Can I can I listen to it real quick? Oh, yes, absolutely. Okay, this is the key. Let me open the garage up. I'm just doing nothing right now. Just making it look like I'm checking stuff. Is it making a bad noise? Yeah, it doesn't sound great. Yeah, so when you when you go, it goes down like going uphill. It goes down to 20 miles an hour. Really? It only does 20 miles an hour? Well, when you when you go up the hill. Oh, like it lost all power. Yeah. It's probably the capacitor. What does that mean? Uh, 
there's a capacitor in the engine. It's oh. called a flux capacitor. Thank you. Yeah, so yesterday, um, when I started, I was making that bad noise. Yeah. And then I I got all the way up to Blue Mound. I was going to hop on the pre and I thought, oh, I better not. No. No. So that was a good choice because um, shortly after that, then it, it I pulled in that parking lot because it was like going <laughs> like that. Like it wasn't going to run anymore. Yeah. And then I, when I pulled in, then um, it died and it ran into a curb because I couldn't get any power steering. You ran into the curb? Yeah. And like going up this hill here, it goes down to 20 miles an hour. This little hill here, it only yeah. goes 20 miles an hour? Yes. Sounds like it's a capacitor. And then I was going. <laughs> <laughs> So it's okay for me to drive for a few days with Autumn's car? Because I can't fix it until Friday or Saturday, so you're going to have this all week. Right. I'm busy. I can rent I the car, too, if she needs her car. Why would you rent the car, Mom? I have so Sorry. many vehicles. Sorry. It's not like we need another vehicle. I got the Crown Vic. I got the Mustang. I got the new truck that I... Do you even know I bought a new truck? No. I bought a brand new truck two days ago. You did? Yeah, that's what we're going to the yard to get. You mean the um like a like a victory truck or a like yeah no a business truck yeah oh. yeah I got I hope you can fix that car because there's no way right now I don't know if my rent's gonna go up another hundred bucks or two I mean I don't know what his plan is I try to working out a deal you got good credit oh I have excellent credit well, yeah you could get a car then. I can get a car, but I just have money, right? And you don't understand. It's it's not easy. That's when the whole banking industry fell apart, remember, in 2008? Yeah. So. And right now, the prices of cars are just through the roof. Oh, I know. So if I can get, like, a little, just a little junker or something, just more reliable than mine, you know? Yeah. But something cheaper. I think we can. Just Ridiculous. I think we can fix it. Well, I hope so. Yeah. Me and Daryl are pretty good at fixing stuff. I know Daryl's kind of a goof. Are you sure? I know Daryl's kind of a goof, but he really does know how to fix stuff. Well, that's good. I mean, it doesn't last a long time, but it gets you going for a little while. We get you to work for a week or so. Yeah, <laughs> Stuff, and she starts to feel better. That's what your car sounds like? It's pretty bad. Wow. So, no. So this thing, this key folds. It's like a switchway. Okay. You just push the button. Okay. And you just in. start it out. Right. And then when you're done, you just take it out. And okay. fold it back up if you want to. Alright. It's easy. Oh, then, I gotta take um, this, my batteries, and my camera. And then how do you lock? Is there a lock thing on there? Yeah, there's uh, right on the door there. Okay. Here, you take the... There. Autumn said don't crack it up. I'll try not to. Okay. You gotta push the button on the side. Push okay. the button. Pull the button. Get your hand out of the way. You wouldn't be very good with a switchblade. So how do you get, oh, okay. Got it. Oh, I have a switchblade. Wow, you're ready. <laughs> I didn't know you were so dangerous, Mom. All right, adios. Thank you, sir. I'll try to find those parts. All right, thank you. Yep. You look good in there. Right, everything is working out pretty much perfect to this point my mom just thinks that her car needs the all too rare flux capacitor 
and it will be running like a champ once again but all joking aside i have to try to find a car and i'm hoping to try to find something locally i really don't have much time i can't travel to a different state or anything like that so i'm gonna hop on the internet now and see what i can find so i've been online for a little bit and i found a couple cars that might be okay so we're gonna go take a look at those first not too far from here all right i'm pulling into the second dealership you guys are never going to believe this so i went to a dealership and talked to a salesman we stood right next to the vehicle that i was interested in and i told him to text me your best price and he texted me a little while longer we were looking at a nissan ultima and he texted me the price for a nissan sentra so that eliminated that possibility if you're a salesman and you don't even listen to what a potential uh, buyer is saying then you already lost my business so that eliminates one of them i think they have a couple used ones here and a couple new ones i'm not opposed to a used one but it's got to be practically new i'm not buying my mom no hoopty hi there i was wondering if you guys have any new ultimos new or used ultimos are you um no good how are you do you have any newer used Altimos? I have both. Okay. Uh, can you show me what you got? Sure. I'm Lenny. I'm Ryan. Ryan? Nice, nice to meet you. you. Yep. Come on in. All right. It's got to be black or white. Okay. Which are the most common colors. Yeah. But for you? It's it's not for me. It's it's for my mother. Okay. What's uh, what's most important in picking up this car from mom? What's most important? It's either black or white. Okay. Uh, it's got to have low mileage, either being brand new or low mileage, really nice. And I need it next week, by the end of next week. Why do you get to sit right next to the door? Is it a seniority thing? Yeah, I worked in in the deal. Okay, I, I, I figured. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so I've got the key from the new one. The other one was still finishing up safety. Okay. And uh, this one here is an SV middle trim package. And so is this SR. That's an all-wheel drive, though. Yeah. That I don't need. This one here, and the mid-trim packages are going to be between 35 and 37-ish. That's too much. Okay. I know this is going to be a daily driver for mom. I don't, um, does she have certain cargo that she wants to make sure it can accommodate? Yeah, she brings us lunches. Oh. All right, looks like they put that windshield in for us, so that's good. Nice to meet you, by the uh, way. This is Drew. Oh, Drew, Sorry. Ryan. Ryan. Yep. How's it going, man? Doing so, fine. Uh, all right. Uh, we're showing new and pre-owned options. This one's a little bit more than where you wanted to be. Uh, Got some body damage, I see, huh? Yeah, I don't know if that's uh, something that they've had time to address yet. I'm going to let you hop in, take a look. I'll get on the other side, and we can take it for a spin. All right. Okay. Who's this guy stabbing his door with a pen? Come on. Uh, yeah, I mean it could work. It's I, I just don't know if I want to spend the extra money on a used car with all the features or buy a base model brand new. You okay. know what I'm saying? That's well, I can show you that's, both ways. I can show you where we're at with this one. Yeah, and then because I mean this breath. is I mean it's got you know this is for my mom so okay and the, it's got scratches and stuff like that. I know you guys can take care of it, but I just don't know if she would. You know, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me to okay. give something nice to her. Of course. Yeah. All right, so this is the vehicle we feel confident we can uh, obtain for you. Right. Uh, that's the window sticker there. So if you were to move forward on that as far as the numbers go, right? you got your MSRP plus your tax title license, which would be right there for you. Uh, how confident are you that you can get your hands on this vehicle? Pretty confident. Um, so the process that we would do from here, so if you're like, okay, Lenny, get me that car, um, what we would do is take a small refundable deposit from you today. Mm -hmm. And that allows us to initiate that process, make the phone calls, make the trade, get the car here. That's fine. Give me three more oil changes, I'll buy it. That's that's nothing for you. I mean, it's $150. Okay. 
Okay, let me write a strong offer to them. All right. It just shows that you have uh, current uh, policy. And then well, I got a question. I will, I will do that. But I have a question. If I'm paying cash for a vehicle, why do you care if I have insurance? Oh, that's right. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Nope, that's right. All right. I uh, forgot about the cash. Card. All right. I was wondering. Right. That just didn't make any sense. <laughs> no, you're right. Okay. Cash card. Cool. All right. So you got All my right. information. Just yes, let sir. me know what you need. And I'm on it. hopefully you'll find a black or white one. On Monday. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I need it by the end of the week, but right. the faster you find it. I'm pretty confident. Uh, Monday, I'll be calling you with a thumbs up. All right, sounds good. All right. All right, thanks. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. All right, thank All right. you very Appreciate much. Your business. Yep. All right. All right, so we ended up buying the brand new Nissan Altima. He did show us the used one, as you saw, but I just wasn't comfortable because it cost more money for the used one than it did for the new one. The used one was the top trim level package. It had all the bells and whistles, which we really don't need. So to me, it was a no brainer to buy the brand new one, the second trim level from the bottom, which is still a really nicely equipped Nissan Altima. My mom's gonna be super happy with it. So they don't actually have the vehicle in stock. From what the salesperson was explaining to me, dealerships do a lot of trading of vehicles and he's really confident that they'll be able to secure the vehicle, get it delivered here to the dealership and it'll be ready for me to pick up next week. So, so far everything is going perfectly and I'm hoping everything works out for next Saturday and I can't wait to see the expression on my mom's face. So my schedule ended up getting busy and I wasn't able to give my mom the car on the weekend. So my backup plan was to do it on Best Mom Monday, which worked out really good because she was coming to the job and I was able to get all the guys involved. It worked out better than I could have ever imagined and it just went perfect. It was a lot of fun. But before I show you that, I thought I'd give you just a little bit about our past uh, and our relationship. So. When I was 12, my parents divorced. I'm still close to both my mom and my dad. I see my mom more because she comes over more and obviously best mom Monday. But after my parents divorced, I ended up living with my mom and we never had much money growing up. But after the divorce, it got even tougher for my mom. But my mom had great work ethic. She hustled and she worked and she did everything that she needed to do to give us what we needed. We never had much but we always had enough. And I think I got some of that work ethic from my mom. My mom is an extremely hard worker. So when I was 17 years old, I, you know, I wasn't the greatest kid, honestly. I wasn't a good son to my mom. I was disrespectful. I was, I guess you could say a typical teenager, you know, running around and doing the things that typical teenagers do. And there was one day when I was 17 where I, disrespected my mom for the last time and I remember the front door open in our apartment and my clothes start sailing out the front door and uh, that was it I was out and I, I know this is kind of weird to say but that was um, that was very good for our relationship because I was forced to grow up I matured really quick at that point and my level of respect for my mom it grew and our relationship grew and really, it was from that point on that me and my mom became very close. My mom has always supported me. She's always been there for me. Um, she's always backed every decision that I've ever made. And she's a great grandmother uh, to my children. And she's just a huge help. Uh, she brings us meals, watches the kids. And really, you don't understand what a mother goes through until you raise a family of your own. And, you know, I have children of all ages, but I have grown children now as well. And uh, just knowing what it takes to raise children and to know specifically what my mom went through, it was a really special thing for me uh, to give my mom this car. Well, first we need to go get the car. Eric was nice enough to give me a hand one night. So uh, this is us going to buy the car and then uh, I'll show you us giving my mom the car on Best Mom Monday. All right, it is a, well, it's the middle of the week and the car is ready to be picked up it was a rain day today we didn't work at all as you can see it's still raining and eric's gonna take me to go pick up the car which is pretty cool pretty excited to see it what's up, what's up? your truck sounds like a diesel no it does here's a half for you oh. the brand new ones yeah that's it right there the one with the lights on Wait, are you ready? Yeah, it's ready. That's him. That's hard. It is. What's up, Ryan? Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you? All right. Welcome. Man, what a day. 
Brand new, Eric. She's gonna look good though when she comes up with the food in the trunk. Man. Oh, you smell brand new. It smells brand new? Yeah. I hope so. So the XM radio is gonna be free for three months. After that, it'll just go to advertisements if she wants to continue. Yeah. They'll offer a real nice package for like five bucks a month. The Altima has been my most impressive sedan along the way. So these are the keys? That's right, you got two. All right, we're all set to go? Yes, sir. All right, thanks, Lady. you just got to stop and grab your receipt there. All right. You guys are good to go. Yeah, take good care <laughs> of my mom, though. That's right. I don't want no bad reports from my mom about Lenny. That's right. All right. Because <laughs> I'll come back. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you very too, much. Right? Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. All right. See ya. Thank you so much. See yep. you, man. All right. I'll follow you. All right, Eric. All right. The deal is done. She is coming home. All right. This is a beautiful car. My mom is going to be really happy with this thing. All right, Autumn and Hannah are here with the car. Oh, Autumn and Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Hi. Okay, so obviously you see where we are. Just go down there and just hide down like the street right there. Just make sure you can't see us. We can't see you. Please make sure to crash into her car, not mine. Yeah, I was thinking oh, about yeah. that. Oh yeah, also they hit Autumn's <laughs> umbrella. Oh. Would you be mad? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would be mad, Daryl. <laughs> would she get another So, one? go pull down there. You like the car? Yeah, it's super nice. Super nice. <laughs> about 10 minutes, you guys are gonna have to go hide, Daryl. Grandma's here! Hurry up with that last square, Eric. I keep on my car running, good. Car? Running good? Oh yeah, oh, it runs God. like brand new. <gasps> Daryl's got the key right now. Huh? Daryl's got the key. He's not here. He should be pulling up about five minutes. So That's fine. we'll go up and eat, and then uh, I gotta show you a couple things anyway. Okay. Yeah, you can come up now. Actually, can you sit tight for like five, ten minutes? Can you just sit? We're not quite done yet. And you can't walk up there, it's so trippy. We're going on a porch. Just sit tight for like five or 10 minutes because okay. we're right at the end of the finish. Okay. Give Francesco to broom. Broom that one square out in front of you. What? No, the far one. Mike, start bringing the food up with my mom to the porch, front porch. Hi, mom. Hi, Looks like you've got two strong men helping you. I doubt you're gonna fall. Okay, okay, good. good. Where are we going? Right on the porch. I got a table set up. Oh, right here? Yep. Wow, We're ready for you today, Ma. Best Mom Monday. Best Mom Monday. Mike, you want to help my mom set up and keep, keep her over there? Yep. I did my spot. No, I'm good. No, I did my spot over there, too. He's good. I mean, you left me behind. Remember, your head is a camera. <laughs> Jay, All right, hot. you guys can come and turn on the camera right now first. You hot? Good job. All right, bye. All right, Daryl, run away. Yo, show turn. All right. Daryl's coming to smash right it. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. I put a camera on the back of his truck so we can oh, see God. it smash too. Yeah. God. Nice, man. Yeah, we'll be there in a couple minutes, Mom. Daryl's pulling up too in a second here. Let me pull it past that. Go all the way to the joint. I'll pull it one more time. I remember last time I did this. No, was young. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you were more of a hurry. <laughs> Looks good. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Did you give me a Diet Dr. Pepper, Mom? I did. All right. Dig in. Come on, because it's cold. Cold and then hot. Are you going to eat some of this? What's this? Just bread? Garlic bread. Oh, 
I just spent 10 hours fixing that. 10 hours. Way to go, Daryl. They pushed it two feet. I don't even want to look at it. I'm trying to do it to it. Oh, Daryl. Oh, man. We'll take care of it, Mom. Don't be so upset. I'm sorry, dear. I'm sorry. Shut it off! Well, we oh. might as well go look at it. Oh, boy. I didn't mean to. It was an accident. That's always an accident. Yeah, Daryl. It was an accident. I'm sorry. Terrible. The truck trailer was like was 50 feet away still. I was worried nice. about you hitting on this car. Oh, that accident. I know. Let's go, Mom. Let's look at it. I don't want to look at it. Just come on. I can't walk over that. Yeah. I'll take you back down. I can't walk over that. Somewhere. I know. We'll go this way again. Take I'm my mom back down there. Take my mom back down there. I'm going to call my insurance. I got really good insurance, Mom. Come on, dear. Well, it's got to go for my insurance. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I hit it. I hit it. Hey, this is this is Ryan from Victory. All right, right now, go ahead. You gonna move that truck, Daryl? We gotta keep looking at it. Oh my! Look at that. Did you pop the tire too? No, but he caved in the whole side. The back oh, door is wasted. Come on, right where the doors come together, he bent it. My insurance guy's gonna call me right back. Oh, we got the whole door. Both doors. Both doors. When you think your insurance guy's gonna say, Oh, we took the mirror right off. Yeah. Oh, good, Daryl. That is junk. Oh yeah, that's, th that's thousands of dollars. Thousands. I got insurance, Mom. Relax. Right. It was my fault. Obviously. I know that. Thanks, Mr. Obvious. Mom, truck, so can... mom, <laughs> turn, turn, turn around. <laughs> what? It's a brand new car. Got a car. What? <laughs> this is all set up. It's a brand new. That's a set up. That's yeah. a set up. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> brand new. New car. What's there in there? Autumn. Come on and see. Brand new. What? <laughs> brand new. <laughs> Very nice. It's brand new. Brand new. <laughs> that's, a pretty, that's a pretty car. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Now you stay away from that car. Come and see. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Daryl. That was perfect. <laughs> Sorry, Daryl. <laughs> I'm sorry for giving you the bad night. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Hey, no, not you not well. No way. What? It's all you. It's all what? yours. And uh, you don't have to worry about insurance. It's all taken care of. No way. Yeah, way. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't want you to worry about driving at all. Just relax and enjoy. Very nice. We did good, boys. Yeah. <laughs> I was so <laughs> I was so nervous. <laughs> the best part is you kept saying don't hit Autumn's car. <laughs> so happy for you. That's very nice. Good for you. Well deserved. So the bad news is your old car is junk, obviously. Uh, It'll <laughs> never run again. What you didn't mean to. You're welcome. You deserve it. Unbelievable. You got brand new smell. Right. Don't try to burn tires on. Wow, look, it's got a it's got a thing. Oh yeah.
Thank you, Autumn. Thank you, Lindsay. Wow, you purposely yeah. smashed my car. So was it, did, was it running? Did you? Oh, no, it's not running, Mom. It's junk. So how did you get it here? We put it on the trailer. Oh my god, <laughs> this whole thing is crazy. And I believe you did this, Ryan. This is crazy stuff. <laughs> this is the happiest thing. This is the nicest thing anybody's ever done for me. <laughs> That's my Monday right there. Okay, bye. You're welcome. Enjoy it.